This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi there, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. So delighted to have you joining me here in the Online Academy. With this quick answer episode, we're going to talk about how to hold a pick. So, if you're first getting started and you're using a pick, it can be helpful to find one that's just got a little bit of play to it, isn't too thin and isn't too thick, around 0 0.73, 0 0.75. That's where I recommend for most of my beginning students. I also like ones that have a little bit of a grip so that when holding on to them, especially as getting started they don't slip out of the hands and it just can kind of find a comfortable place to hang on to that pick. I use a lot of different types of picks for the various styles that I play. This one just happens to be a prime tone and it's a one millimeter thick so it's a little bit thicker than I was recommending if you're just getting started but the longer I play the more I like thicker and thicker picks. With my jazz I'm even playing extremely thick, much thicker than this one. So how to hold this pick? Well if you take your your hand straight out and you were to curl your fingers back and find a spot where your thumb and your index finger, the side of your index finger meet, that's what you want to do with your hand. So your fingers curl back and your thumb just sits on it. The pick is in intended as an extension of the thumb. And so when holding it, you need those fingers just to curl back. So it's going to sit, it's going to rest right on top of the index finger and in between the thumb and the index finger just like so. When I first started though I grabbed with these two fingers and held on underneath the pick and the thumb on top. Did something funny with my wrist but it was a comfortable way to start. If you have a comfortable way to hold it and then you can gravitate towards something different as you get better that's okay too. Sometimes it's just a little awkward holding that pick in the first place. For really good technique though you just curl those fingers back until the underside of your thumb meets the side of your index finger. You could flail your fingers out but that creates tension through the hand so really those fingers should just tuck in right with that index finger and then the pick just becomes an extension of the thumb sits nicely between those two fingers. When I'm strumming I'll have about a centimeter out from my my thumb so I can get a nice tone. Sometimes when I'm playing I will mention that my index finger will curl a little bit forward so it's not necessarily on top the side it might be a little bit more angled on the side wherever feels kind of comfortable for you. When I'm playing individual notes then my I usually tuck in a little bit tighter and maybe half that size because I feel like I can control tone and my plucking of those individual notes a little bit easier. Okay, so there's the there's a little bit on how to hold that pick. I hope you're having fun playing the guitar. If you need a pick, you probably are. And uh, take care. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.